Last night we stayed in the coolest Airbnb ever. Good morning everyone, it is 7 a.m. My sister and I are about to pack up her car and drive four and a half hours from Salt Lake City to Kanab, Utah. It is such a beautiful morning out today. My sister's neighborhood is so cute. Alicia is just grabbing a few more things from her house and then we should be off on the road. We have about 20 minutes left in our drive, but we saw a sign that we wanted to stop by and take some pictures, and then we are ready to go hiking. It feels so good to just step outside and stretch my legs. This is the sign we stopped at to take a picture, because this is where we're going. We finally made it and as we drove through the canyon, we actually came all the way down through the bottom and that was one of the most beautiful and scenic drives I think I've ever been on. The specific trail that we're going to do today is called the Calf Creek Falls Trail and it does cost $5, so luckily I have some cash with me. But right now we're just gonna use the bathroom, eat a snack, and then get hiking. So we went to walk over to use the bathroom and we should have stopped like an hour ago because we both kind of had to go, but we were like, no, we'll just wait till we get there. And we get here and the bathroom is closed for the season. I walked up to the door and it was locked and there's also nowhere to throw your trash away. So we're just gonna have to find an empty area and figure out somewhere to go. All right, found a spot and did that. Obviously, I did not film that. When you come here, you have to fill out this little fee permit. Normally it's $5, but I only have a $10 bill, so we're just gonna pay for two days and hopefully come back again tomorrow. If we would have walked a little further, we might have found that restroom, <laughs> but it's okay. testing out the new waterproof shoes. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I slipped and some water got in my socks, so that kind of sucks because <laughs> now I feel like my feet are gonna be cold the rest of the day. But it does say caution crossing is extremely slippery. Oh well. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think just a minute ago we were driving all the way up there.
have been hiking for a little over an hour now and I can finally see and hear the waterfall that we're trying to get to. This is probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen before. It's also just so much bigger than I was expecting too. It's so tall. We just got back in the car. That hike was absolutely stunning. The waterfall was so beautiful. We're just going to drink some Powerade, eat some PB&Js, and then head to our Airbnb. Good morning, everyone. So last night we stayed in the coolest Airbnb ever. It's a tiny house here in Orderville, Utah that backs up against the mountains. It is absolutely beautiful. From the porch of the tiny house, you have this beautiful view of the mountains. Have my sister up here just enjoying the beautiful morning. And then when you walk into the tiny house, we have a living room right here with a couch, which this actually had a pull out bed. So my sister was able to sleep there last night. TV trays for eating dinner. And then across from the couch, we had a fireplace and a TV. This tiny house felt very similar to staying in a studio apartment. The kitchen was awesome. We had a sink, which we have our clean dishes right in there. There was even a coffee maker, a microwave, some drawers, oh, and a stove top right here. We also had a mini fridge as well. I love how in this tiny house, when you're walking down the hallway, you have all of these beautiful windows so you can have some extra light. And also the view from the windows is just beautiful. Through the hallway, we have the bathroom on the right. We have the sink right here, a shower, and then on the other side, just some towels and the toilet. And then down the hall from the bathroom is the one Bedroom. We have, I believe, a queen size bed, and I slept here last night. And then I also love how the bedroom has these window cutouts, and the ceiling is these wooden beams, which is just really, really pretty. I just feel like all of the wood details throughout this tiny home the wooden ceilings, the floors, like around the windows, all of it just give this tiny home a cabin vibe, even though we're in the middle of the desert. It is so unique and such a cool place to stay. If you find yourself coming through Bryce Canyon or Zion National Park, I will make sure to put the link to this specific Airbnb in the description box below because it is amazing. And the host has also been wonderful and really easy to communicate with. So all in all, I give this place a 10 out of 10. We're going to finish packing up the car and drive about half an hour to Zion National Park. I always grew up thinking it was called Zion, but after my sister Alicia has been living here in Utah, she told me it's actually pronounced Zion. So that's where we're gonna head to go hiking for the day. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall We got here to Zion and 
The hike that we wanted to do requires a shuttle bus to get there. We didn't know that you had to purchase the tickets far in advance. They are sold out today. So no shuttle bus for us, but we're gonna head out on a few trails that are near the visitor center. The first one being the Pirates Trail. I just wanna feel On a side note, we should have done more research because then we would have known that the shuttle tickets had to be purchased online and you can't actually purchase them here in the park. waterfall and we were actually able to come down to where it starts. We believe this is flowing into the Virgin River which we actually got a notification about this morning that it is pretty infected with a lot of bacteria so you're not supposed to bring your dogs near it and it's definitely not drinking water. They We are finishing our first trail right now, so we're heading back to where the visitor center is, and we think there's a grill there. We're both really hungry, so we're gonna stop there, get something to eat, and then head out on one more trail today. Lunch was really good, and now we are starting our second hike of the day. We are doing the Watchman's Trail. This one on the map was listed to be more moderate. It's gonna be about two hours round trip. Should be good. Part of the hike we'll be going from all the way down here and winding all the way up there beautiful stars i want to take a trip to mars nothing can break me nothing can break me We are now leaving Zion to head back to Salt Lake City. Even though we didn't get to go on the exact hike that we wanted to, it was still a beautiful day and I think we really made the most of it. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. 